Report on that in just a moment. Standard Oil has uncovered 90 ways for you to cook picture perfect. Dinner is served menu recipe cards. Each card has a color photograph of a main dish, like shrimp creole. On the back is the recipe and menu planning hints to help you cook picture perfect. There are 90 different main dish cards to help your menu planning for up to three full months. You cook to match the picture. Dishes like Swedish meatballs, broiled chicken with herbs, or beef roulade. A pack of 10 menu recipe cards is just 19 cents with any gasoline purchase, plus two index cards, a card file box, and stand for 29 cents with no purchase. Start collecting menu recipe cards. Start cooking picture perfect at standard stations and almost all Chevron dealers. Introducing the name caller, automatic telephone dialer. It memorizes 38 phone numbers, including emergency numbers like police, fire, and doctor. Move the selector to the name and push the button. The rest is automatic. Hello, Monica. Meet me at the airport. We'll take my Learjet. Bye, baby. The name caller, fantastic. I think natural foods are good for you. you know, great natural food is milk. You know, I, I'm not a nut on, you know, pills and protein tablets and things like that. You know, I'm a definite nut on milk. You know, I have quite a bit of it. Milk has something for everybody, even Mark Spitz's. It's the truth. 15 minutes ago, you know, just prior to this, I had three glasses. <laughs> it's awful hot. <laughs> Is it Harold Green? Oh, of course it is, but this is a different era. Yeah, I know. When Chubby Checker was twisting and Little Eva was into her locomotion, radio station KFWB, Channel 98, was a virtual giant in Los Angeles. Kids wearing DA hairdos, along with bobby socks, idolized the station's disc jockeys. Parents could be heard saying, will you turn that racket off? Well, within the hour, it all comes alive again. For the next 24 hours, FM radio station KMET will relive those great days with an all-star lineup. George Dig, the happy show with a real good show called Young Guns on KFWB. Hi, and I, and of course it's Joe Yoakum. It's a Saturday, and for all the football widows and all, got little Eva. And remember what the KFWB fortune cookie says. For gals who have water on the knee, be sure you're wearing pumps, huh? Everybody's doing a brand new dance now. Come on, baby, do the locomotion. Night people on KFWB with the Quiver and Quillen Clan and your host, Theodore the Ghost. KFWB, you heard it first. Neil Sadaka here on the Weedy Happening at KFWB Color Channel 90. Kind of wraps it for today. BMR is next, so hang tight. Till then, night, night. Ta ta, and have a happy. Elam Mitch. Oh, yeah. Hey, Scooter, you'll need a BMR. Gentlemen, with my hat in my hand, let's take it over now with the Duke of Earl. Duke, 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 Duke of Earl. Duke, Duke, Duke of Earl. Everybody seems to be caught up in a nostalgia kick, and B. Mitchell Reed thinks the idea is a natural one. I've been getting mail from people who really belong to the BMR teen, uh, teen Top Club or Top Teen Club. It's sending me back cards and saying, hey, just for a little bit of nostalgia, remember this. And uh, they grew up to it. Now, if you think about the age level of 12, 14, 15, 16, 18, they're in their 20s or 30s. Hey, they want to remember, too. Yeah, I'll be digging on that. Oh, Bill Balance and Gary Owens will also be on. It starts at midnight on KMET. Be there or be square. No Levi's or Capri's, please. John. <laughs> Thanks very much, Harold. There was a big fight tonight and a big race. And the 1949 Denver Nuggets and the 1970 Cleveland Cavaliers had set this rather unenviable mark. 
This is the sensational Trotter Super Bowl, winner of 18 straight races this year, record earnings $439,000. Tonight, in the $100,000 American Trotting Classic on a sloppy track at Hollywood Park, Super Bowl ran his last race before retiring. He led for at the mile, but he faltered in the stretch. And he finished dead last in the field of six. The winner was Diane, who also won this race in 1970. The time for a mile and an eighth was 219 and four fifths. Ryan returning $1,266 and six dollars. Flower Chow was second. Oppie came in third. Well, sir, Sam the computer takes a nine game lead into our weekly pigskin pick, so let's see if I can't make up some ground. I like Stanford by seven over Washington. Come tomorrow afternoon, the computer says it will be Stanford by 15. I like UCLA by seven over Washington. The computer says it will be UCLA by one. I'll take Kansas City to beat Pittsburgh on Sunday by three. The computer says it'll be Pittsburgh by one. I'll take Minnesota over Detroit in the Central Division by a field goal. The computer says it'll be same thing. I'll take the 49ers to beat the Colts by seven points. And the computer says it will be 49ers by nine. I like Oakland over Cincinnati by four points. Sam says it will be Cincinnati by five. Take the Chargers on Monday night by a field goal over Cleveland. Computer says it'll be San Diego by five. And I like the Rams to beat Denver by seven. Computer says it will be hmm, Los Angeles by 10. Tomorrow's college games on Channel 7, 9.30 Ohio State, Michigan State, 1 o'clock LSU in Alabama. Mr. Shubay. Right, Stu, they spelled Diane D-A-Y-A-N. Mm -hmm. You say the horse paid $6 to well, show? Yes, and you had it last $6 week. $6 to show? $6 to play, $6 to show. You had the wrong night. <sighs> you had the right horse. Wrong place, wrong time. Morris! Time for Din Din! Oh, already? Playtime is over. Too bad. <laughs> You can catch me later, maybe. Ready for Din Din? Ready to act finicky. Some night lives, dear. Uh-oh. Tuna, chicken, liver. liver. And creamed gravy. Mm -hmm. Nine oh. lives. Nutritious foods cats really like. Even Morris. If I acted finicky now, I'd win an Oscar. When you dial long distance direct and don't involve the operator, you're connected directly to this automatic dialing equipment. That saves us money, which means you save, too. For instance, between 6 and 11 p.m. weeknights, a three-minute station call between San Francisco and Los Angeles is $1.45 plus tax when assisted by the operator. But dial direct, it's only 75 cents, a 48% saving. Dial direct, it's cheaper. Throughout the entire northern part of California, rain showers in San Jose. And then another one over here that's moved down past us at 1030, just as predicted. Let's look at the big map here for a second because we want to get over to a, our bottle before the end of the program. Here's the uh, storm center. This is the old one moving on out. But remember, I, I predicted that it was going to be clear in the northeast today. There it is. I didn't draw a single cloud, right? Over on the west side, here's the one that has just moved in, and it's down to San Jose, right? This is the one that just crossed over the Los Angeles Basin. Moving on down to San Diego by 4 o'clock in the morning, in between a period of a little clearing. All right, let's look over here at the big map for a second. Here's what we've got for tomorrow. Tomorrow morning, it'll start to rain again shortly. Sorry, Stu, I wouldn't hit you. You know that. <laughs> <laughs> rain tomorrow morning, clearing in the afternoon, and it should be clear by tomorrow night and a beautiful Sunday. Let's see, uh, the winds out on the marina. We're not going to have time for this, are we? Look at, look at these, please. Kids, stick around for tomorrow, for uh, Monday, and we'll do that. We'll make smog, smog in the bottle. And Stu, you'll have to fire up that six seconds. 20 seconds. Hurry up. You couldn't do it in 20 seconds. You're taking 15 now. 15, you gotta, you got to get water on the inside. Okay, bring it over, George. <laughs> Hurry up, George. <laughs> bring it over. Try it. Now, let's see. Ooh, <laughs> <laughs> Ooh what are you smoking? <laughs> on Monday, we'll really do it, okay? On Monday. <laughs> George, that's a question we've been asking around here for many months now. What is Stu Nahan really smoking? <laughs> that's the news for now. Have a good weekend. Thanks. Hi. Haven't I seen you on TV before? Yeah. What's your name? Rodney. Rodney what? Rodney Allen Rippy. What's that in front of you? A jumbo jack. A jumbo jack? From Jack in the Box. Did you ever get a bite out of it?
And too big to eat. You think you'll be able to get a bite now? Give it a try, Rodney. Tell us how you like it. I can't. I like it. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, worried. This is Godzilla, Dad. He's sleeping with me. Never. I'll give you a caravel. You got a roommate, kid. Nobody can say no to a caramel. Crunchy, crisp, chocolate, and yummy caramel. Nobody can say no to a Peter Paul caramel. Alan! Can Godzilla stay, Mom? We'll give you a caravel. Alan, you meet Godzilla? Nobody can say no to a caravel. But he is here with his bottle tonight. We'll see what he does with it. They've just you? recalled me for repairs by the maker. Here a little. <laughs> Remodel though. Oh, a seven, eighteen seventy-three. I now let's let's look over first at this at this map, which gives us an idea of where of the location of the storms and their intensities. Look at this one over here. This is the one that came through on Saturday, Friday night and Saturday. Remember, and now it's over here in the Midwest, creating havoc. We've got a new one right off the coast that's going to come through here. Uh, tonight, it should hit here at 11 o'clock tonight. We'll have our first showers momentarily. I'll check with the weather station and find out where it's raining at the moment. But it should be through here, uh, heavy rains, by 11 o'clock tonight. And it should be over by 10 o'clock uh, tomorrow morning, 11 o'clock tomorrow morning. So it'll be a 12-hour storm. Ladies, uh, wear, wear a headscarf tomorrow morning, please. Here's what's happening over in the Midwest now. This is the storm that hit here on Saturday. Snow uh, throughout the entire Great Plains, four to five foot drifts in North Platte. Oh my goodness, uh, let's see. <laughs> Let's see, uh, the bus companies have stopped running in many places. I've got the whole report here. Heavy snow warnings for Kansas, Nebraska, Iowa, Minnesota, Illinois, and Wisconsin. Interstate 70 is closed to all westbound traffic outside of Waukini, Kansas, and so on. Now, over on the west coast, this front has just come in. We, we have heavy rains in San Francisco and at Salinas and uh, Salinas. Salinas is in Kansas, you know. Uh, Fresno and Paso Robles, and we've got a storm outside of Santa Barbara, unknown intensity at the moment. That's as close as it is to our area, but local light showers can begin momentarily throughout the entire area. Uh, looking at our local situation for tomorrow, rain, rain, rain. Ladies, don't bother to put your hair up tonight. It won't, it'll come down by tomorrow. And here are temperatures. Look quickly at the temperatures because we want to show you uh, the rainfall amounts that we can expect tonight. Now, this is, this is something I enjoy doing. Hey, notice this one. This one is lower. The valleys are lower than Los Angeles and Orange. That means that they're going to have clouds over there tomorrow. Look at this. Upper deserts, a quarter to a half an inch of rain tonight. Uh, the mountains, one to two inches of rain, two inches plus, and some of that's in a form of snow. Along the basin and the coast, one half to one inch, and even in the lower deserts, one quarter of an inch. And now, in response to numerous, numerous, very numerous uh, requests by Mr. Benty, I'm <laughs> we, we're going to try to make fog in a bottle. And you do that by adding a little water on the inside, right? You add a little water on the inside, and then blow into it, increase the pressure like this, and release it. But it doesn't show much, does it? What you need is a little, a little smoke on the inside. And by God, we don't have, we'll do it at 11 o'clock tonight. <laughs> we'll do it at 11 o'clock, 11 o'clock, all right? Come back then. You want to do it at 11 or 6? <laughs> we'll be 35 this afternoon, Los Angeles Times reporter Bill Farr received an indefinite jail sentence from Superior Court Judge Charles Older. Farr was jailed when he once again refused to reveal the names of two attorneys who gave him a transcript two years ago during the Charles Manson family trial. Judge Older had issued a press gag order at that time forbidding publicity about the case even though the trial jury was sequestered and shielded from news stories. Farr had appealed his case all the way to the United States Supreme Court before today's sentencing. I talked with Farr in his courthouse press office, just three floors above the court where he was sentenced. I asked him what jail would mean to him in a very personal sense. Uh, the, the Times has assured me that they will continue my salary, uh, which I feel is particularly good of them since I did the article when I worked for another newspaper. 
uh, in regard to my attorneys, they have been kind enough to donate their services. The only real expenses I've had, and they've been considerable, have been in things like printing of briefs and so forth, which gets to be a very expensive matter. But I haven't been as badly hurt financially as I think someone would be if they didn't have the help of the attorneys I've had. I think that the bill would be about $40,000 to go through the entire appellate process to go to the U.S. Supreme Court. Most of your professional life you have covered the law. Do you now, being involved in it, uh, have any tarnished respect for it? What is your attitude now that you're personally involved as to your professional outlook? Well, I don't feel that way about the law. I don't think it's tarnished. I'm in obvious disagreement with the, the judge and the courts in regard to the rulings in my case, not just because of the harm to me, but because of the principles involved. I think there's an impingement on freedom of the press that was unnecessary. Um, but there's certainly no bitterness, and I think that you have to have respect for the process when you win or lose. Farr spent less than 20 minutes in court. Judge Older turned down all requests for further time or new appeals. He ordered the reporter jailed until such time as he decides to talk. Farr was booked into jail and started serving his time in Los Angeles County Jail. But at 6 p.m. just moments ago, a division of the state appellate court, the District 1 here in Los Angeles, ordered Bill Farr released on his own recognizance pending the outcome of a petition of habeas corpus. Bill Farr will be out tonight, but the sentence still hangs over him. I asked him if it meant something to you, a reporter being jailed. The actual circumstances of my case. The reason that a newsman's privilege not to reveal sources exists is not merely to sell more newspapers, but to better inform the public. I think there are numerous examples historically where uh, large exposés that corrected corrupt circumstances in government came about because a reporter could protect the source. The same is true in many stories about organized crime where a source has to worry about physical reprisals. Uh, the public is best served by knowing about corruption and organized crime. That's the real reason it exists, not simply to aid uh, reporters or to help you sell newspapers. And I think many times that issue is lost. But that's why it's important to the public, not just to the press. The press represents the public. Uh, the public reads what we write and what you broadcast. Uh, and that's the principle that I'm defending uh, over and beyond my own dilemma. The issue, of course, is much more serious than just the case of one news reporter or one action that took place in a trial two years ago. This latest action by the state appellate court assures that there will be more legal moves in the future before the freedom of the press's place in this country is decided. And as Farr pointed out, it is the public's right to know. I'd be interested to find out what grounds they used for this new appeal to file a writ of habeas corpus. I'm just speculating now, but the attorney, uh, Mr. Hertz Kurtzman, uh, in indicated this afternoon that he would file a petition for habeas corpus on the fact that if Farr did reveal these two attorneys' names, they could not be prosecuted because the statute of limitations has already run out. He's saying that it's a moot thing. Well, I think there are two other things here which we should not overlook, and that is Judge Older's decision to put Farr away, regardless of what the appeals court does, and the Supreme Court's decision Monday not to review or to hear the case, That's right. which uh, there's a current, the current issue of Harper's Magazine has a very good article on the erosion of all of our rights, not just the rights of the press, under the subtle decisions being made by the Supreme Court. So and there are, as we have talked about before, all across the country these things are happening. There is a reporter in New Jersey who was in jail for some time, and Mr. Caldwell of the Times. It's, uh, it's something that will be, there will be a lot of conversation about, I'm sure, in the future. Well, I, I think the next thing is going to be an awful lot of action in the Congress to try and stop it. I Provided, as we said at 4.30, people get off their you-know-what and write demanding that this kind of thing stop before it goes too far. The Dow did it again. Very unusual demonstration in the garment district. We'll have those stories in a moment. There's no lovelier, more leisurely place to do your holiday shopping than Fisherman's Village in Magic Marina del Rey, just minutes away from everywhere by the San Diego and New Marina del Rey freeways. Fisherman's Village has everything for holiday gifts, men and women's fashions, food gift packs, and lots of fun things for friends and family. While you're shopping in Fisherman's Village, take time off to enjoy our famed waterfront restaurants. Make exciting Fisherman's Village your one-stop holiday shopping center. Come to the Village Lighthouse, Fiji Way, and Marina Del Rey. Come on and fly. Cindy, 
Fly me to Miami, Tampa, Orlando, all over Florida. Fly me. I'm National Fly Me. Local situation before you can see uh, the, w the direction the winds will be coming. But they'll be coming from the, coming from more from the northwest by uh, tomorrow, late tomorrow night. Now over in the mountains, oh boy, oy vey, we have got, <laughs> we, <laughs> we have got snow at 5,000 foot levels and coming on down as low as 4,500 as the storm progresses. We're expecting another inch of moisture, uh, perhaps tomorrow, and then the new storm comes in. This is the last one of the series of four, but believe me, this one, if we get out of this one uh, dry, we'll be, we'll be amazed. <laughs> as, we, as we said earlier, first we've been pushing that, that storm front uh, up more and more from, fr from uh, late Friday to early Saturday. Now it looks as though it may be, uh, it may be <laughs> game time on Saturday night, Stu. Right. And that's the one that bothers me more than anything. Looking at our temperatures, for those who, uh, who uh, are interested, yes, I <laughs> the temperatures have, seem to have very little interest at the moment when we have so much rain uh, uh, that's bothering us. Uh, we've had uh, almost an inch and a quarter of rain already out of this storm. It's up to three and a half inches. We're expecting another inch, and then the, the new front will come through, and that's it, old buddy. Okay, Dr. George, maybe if we keep moving it back, it'll be Sunday before the front arrives, and we'll all be happy. That's Eyewitness News for now. Thanks very much for watching. Dick Cavett is next. His guest tonight, Jerry Lucas. See you tomorrow at 4.30. David Helmerson. That's true. Good night. An editorial by Don B. Curran, Vice President and General Manager of KABC-TV. As the election returns came in on November 7th, an interesting but not surprising pattern emerged. As figures mounted, it became apparent that voting was heavier on some propositions than on others. Why? Well, we think that many voters were turned off on issues simply because of the wording of the proposition statements was too confusing. As a result of earlier KABC-TV editorials, legislation was introduced in Sacramento on at least two occasions to help ease that situation. Airline that offers you both. Next time you're flying across the United States, take a TWA ambassador flight, coach or first class. It's the most comfortable fleet of planes in the world. TWA's ambassador service to New York and the East. Your engine has an enemy, dirt. Dirt wants your engine. Dirt wants to ruin your car's performance. But a good detergent gasoline like Mobil can help stop dirt. Park your car, sir. Dirt has an enemy. Mobil detergent gasoline. From the Spain of legend, Mistala is here. Mistala. The light, natural rosé wine created in Spain to capture a legendary flavor. Mistala, imported rosé. Born of vines that once bore the wines of a fabulous era. Salud, amor y pesetas. Y el tiempo para gastarlos, America. Mistala is here. Seems like the only way to get a loan is to produce enough collateral to prove you don't really need the money. But what if you're just getting started? We'll take a chance on you then. Come to AFCO Financial Services, because we believe in loaning you the money to do what you want to do when you want to do it. So when you need money, go directly to your nearest AFCO office. When you believe in people, we'll get the right. morning on KNBC. Who in America would build a new car like this? A new car with the response of a grand touring car, the roadability of a sports car, a 
the characteristics you've admired in the finest road cars. Who in America would build a car with a front end that can do this? The wide track people who build Grand Prix, Firebird, and GTO. This is the first Grand Am. Two door, four door, both with bucket seats. From Pontiac, of course. There's something new on the menu at McDonald's. Something big and thick and juicy. Something you can really sink your teeth into. Introducing McDonald's new Quarter Pounder. And Quarter Pounder with cheese. Come and get it. in all the little squares. It isn't butter. It's better because it comes already in all the little squares. Observe, a downy flake, hot and buttery waffle, a toaster. Together, a significant advance in pleasant living. My boy, smell the world's first whiff of a waffle brown with its own buttery flavored spread. Downy flake, hot and buttery waffles, the great age of toaster cooking. <laughs> well, all be. <laughs> this is Channel 4, KNBC, Los Angeles. A Chrysler has always been an automobile with a tradition of performance on the open road. It was an automobile that faced the challenge of Le Mans and saw victory in 56 grand national competitions. Today, the tradition continues with electronic ignition in this 73 Chrysler Newport. A Chrysler can afford. Chrysler Newport. Extra care in engineering. It makes a difference. It seems like yesterday when you were pushing him around in a carriage. And now, for a fleeting second, you realize your little boy is becoming a man. You can really enjoy these wonderful years when you do the right things to take care of yourself. And because you do, you don't forget your Geritol. Geritol every day to make sure you get the iron and seven vitamins your body needs. Take care of yourself. Get the most out of life. When the sea is calm, it is as a sleeping angel. When the ocean does rise, a fearsome giant would destroy. Stephen Boyd and Colleen Duhur star in The Hands of Cormac Joyce. A drama of man against the elements and himself. The Hands of Cormac Joyce, Friday at 8.30, 7.30 Central Time. It's Academy Award winner John Wayne, as tough as ever. In fact, even tougher in a blockbuster of exciting action. The Green Berets, co-starring David Jensen. Saturday at 8, that's 8 p.m., 7 Central Time on NBC. You know what year this is? It's the year of the tingle. <laughs> Now you can bathe with Ginate bath gel, splash with Ginate friction pool of bath, powder with Ginate bath powder. Enjoy tingling Ginate fragrance so many refreshing ways. You can even take along a spray of Nate. It's the year of the tingle. <laughs> Try Ginate. Start tingling. Los Angeles to Houston, morning, noon, or night. Your choice. Fly me. I'm National Fly Me. 